In this video, I will add bottom bar and three tabs. First home, second product, third is settings. I will keep all these spaces empty. Let's first add bottom bar in. It's called fold. Add bottom bar lambda function in. It's called fold. In scroll for there is a property bottom bar in that we will add the navigation bar before we add we will first create the list item for bottom bar create three items for bottom bars it is a list of listing array home product settings Create navigation bar. Create navigation bar in bottom bar lambda function. In navigation bar content block, we will add the navigation bar item. We have to keep the limit, the number of item here. It should be between three to five. We will iterate the tab items array and add navigation bar item one by one we have already added tab icons in the project file in res folder you can see that home settings and product items iterate the tab items for iterate we will use the for each index method it give index and item one by one. Create the navigation bar item. In for loop of tab item, right now we have set selected value false for navigation bar item. In navigation bar item, there is an icon and la la label lambda function. In label lambda function, I will add the text compose and display the item name. In icon lambda function, set icon for navigation bar item. In our example, there are three tabs uh, home, product, and setting. We will check its name and the set proper icon according to its item name. If it is home, then I will set the icon IC actual home. If it is product, then I will, we will change the icon name IC action product. Same way we will set the icon for the setting tab. Run the app. Now we will handle the click event and save the last action. We will save the index value of tab when user click on navigation bar item. For that, 
we create the mutable state for saving the index number and that mutable state in it with zero i have created the selected item as a mutable state and the click event of the navigation bar item we will update its value of the selected item update the selected code check if selected item value and index value is equal or is match then selected will be set true and it will be highlighted as a selected in the ui on click lambda function we will update mutable state value to click bar item position now update the selected item value by the index value let's run the app now you can check by default home is selected now i am check the product and the selected value will be changed according to that and it will be update the ui according to it by default uh, mutable state uh, with zero index so when app start it selected home tab and when click this bar item navigation bar item then on its click i have update the mutable state with the latest index and this mutable state refresh the ui for the bottom bar